Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at static routing. Specifically within static routing, we're going to be taking a closer look at setting up static routes on two Juniper routers. So in this lab, we have router 1 and router 2, and they are joined via the LT120 interface, and this is a logical tunnel interface between in this instance we have we are going to create two logical systems we're going to name the first one R1 and the second one R2 again this is Juniper static routing lab so if you're not familiar with logical systems you might want to familiarize yourself with that that concept you can take a look at my logical systems labs logical system lab number one I show you how to configure logical tunnels and join two logical systems together via a logical tunnel interface. So in this lab what we're going to do instead of having two physical routers we're going to explain the concept of static routing on two logical routers. So everything is the same it's just the only difference is, is these routers are just going to be logical routers or logical systems. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to explain a little of the network diagram, the network topology that we have. We have R1, we have a logical tunnel, as previously stated, logical tunnel 120, unit 12 is R1 side, and R2 side is LT120, unit 21. The network between these two are the network, the subnets between R1 and R2. It's going to be the 12, 12, 12, 0, forward slash 24 network. On R1 we're using the dot one IP address, and on R2, we are using the dot two IP address. On R1, we have the loopback zero unit zero, and within this unit, we have two subnets associated with it. We have the one network, the one dot one dot one dot zero forward slash twenty four, and then we have the eleven dot eleven dot eleven dot zero forward slash twenty four network on R1. And on R2, we're going to create a loopback zero unit one. And you might be asking yourself, well, why not create the same, just unit zero? Well, when we're doing this on one router, as I'll show you later on, is if you try to create unit zero on loopback zero between two different logical systems, it's going to give you an error message. So I'll explain that more in detail later on. On interface loopback zero unit one on R2, we have two IP subnets. We have the 2220 forward slash 24 and then we also have the 222220 forward slash 24 network. So what I'm going to do in this lab is at the end of this we're going to have reachability to all the networks and we're going to do this, achieve this by creating static routes. On R1 we're going to create two static routes pointing to R2's subnets, the 2 network and the 22 network, and on R2 we're going to create two static routes pointing to R1's two networks, the 1 network and the 11 network. And I'm going to go ahead and as we go through this lab I'm going to explain some key concepts of static routing and routing in general. I'm going to give you guys a very solid foundation on how routing takes place and what exactly the router is doing when it looks up a destination subnet and how it performs its next hop functions. So let's go ahead and get started. We will go ahead and create our logical systems R1 and R2. So on R1 we're going to do the command set logical systems R1 and then we're going to create the or use the interface LT120 again we're going to be using on R1 from R1's perspective